So hello, today I'm going to show you how to make this plaster mould uh, for making some hand, hand built pottery. Um, I made this plaster mould, it's very very easy to make and out of this mould I will show you what I made. I made this bowl which hasn't been fired yet um, but it will be shortly. Um, but I made this with that mould and it was very simple. So I'm going to show you how to do it um, using this bowl. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a bowl of some kind, a, uh, a plastic one that flexes just a little bit. You are going to need some rubber gloves. You're going to need some release agent, Vaseline's fine if that's what you've got. And um, a little mask. You need this plaster. Um, this is fine casting plaster. You can use plaster of Paris as well, that's fine. You're also going to need a bucket to mix it in. So let's get on with it, I'll show you what to do. So this is the plastic bowl that I used to make this plaster mould. And as you can see, I can just drop it in there and it fits like that. You need to put um, you need to put a very thin coat of some sort of release agent. Like I say, Vaseline's absolutely fine if that's all you've got. Very thin coat of release agent on here, on the inside, so that the plaster will come away easily once it's once it's hardened. And make sure that any blobs of um, jelly are smoothed out because if um, because if it's streaky, if the Vaseline is streaky, then you will get an impression of that in your mold. Um, and if you've got an impression of it on your mold, then it's also going to create an impression on your pottery as well. Now the next thing to do is measure out how much water you want to put in there. So if you want your mould to be about that depth, then that's about the depth that you want to put, about the depth of water that you want to put in the bowl. Um, now what you want to do now, you've measured out your water, what you do is pour it into a bucket like that. So then I'm putting on the respirator mask because plaster dust gets everywhere. Even if you're careful with it, it does tend to puff up in big clouds. Putting my gloves on because I'm going to be touching the plaster. When you're putting the plaster into the bucket, something in there, um, sprinkle it in, just take a handful and sprinkle it in like that. If you dump it in, in one big lump, it's just going to solidify in one big lump in the water. So you sprinkle it in. The water that I used was uh, cold. If you use warm water, the plaster will go off really quickly and it doesn't give you enough time to work. And the point to stop when you're, when you're mixing plaster with water, the point to stop is the point at which you start getting little plaster islands poking through the water. I'll show you what I mean just now, because I think I've reached that point. That's it. You can see how the plaster is poking through. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to mix that up gently with my gloves on and it feels like the consistency of cream so that that kind of consistency so you just stir it around and use your fingers to break up any lumps So 
So you've got your plaster mixed up. You get your little bowl from earlier on. And then you pour it. Pour the plaster into the mould. Like that. When it's in there, just give it a little... I put, put, I put my hands in and just very gently, you're not stirring it, what you're doing is you're giving a little bit of, sort of vibrating it with your fingers to help get rid of air bubbles that might be on the surface of the mould. That's good enough, I think. So, take the gloves off. Now before I do anything, I'm going to go and rinse out that bucket so that it doesn't set in the bucket and ruin the bucket. If you haven't used uh, plaster before, one thing to know is that it does set very quickly. So it's never a good idea to pour plaster down your sink because it will harden in the drains and block your drains. So what I just did then was I rinsed out that bucket and I have a little patch outside where I um, just on the ground I get rid of uh, water that's got lots of clay sediment in it or or plaster that goes <clears throat> outside rather than down the drain. Um, yeah, just don't tip it down your sink. I do have, um, I have a clay trap underneath my sink which I'll show you um, a picture of. It's by Clayman and it's great but it's um, still not, uh, I, I still wouldn't want to put I wouldn't want to put plaster down it. Um, the other thing I was going to say is, in terms of the pot, there's a couple of things you should know about choosing a pot to do to make a mould with. If you have a, 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 a container that goes like that and the, um, the opening is narrower than the body of the, the, the basin, you're not going to get your clay, um, your plaster mould out of there, it's not, it's going to get stuck. And the other thing that I would recommend is using a plastic pot with a bit of give in it, a bit of flex, it's got to be quite sort of firm but with a bit of flex because it's much easier to get your mould out of there if you can kind of wiggle it a little bit and, and make the mould pop out. Um, if you use something very rigid like something that's made out of glass there might, if you know, if you know, if you're watching this and you know a way of getting a plaster mould out of a very rigid container, then do write it in the comments and let me know because I, um, I can't do it. Um, I mean, you, what you what you end up doing is you end up sort of sticking a knife in the side because what happens is that the mould itself suctions, it creates a vacuum. When you're trying to pull the mould out, it creates a vacuum between the um, bowl and the plaster, and it's not actually stuck to the plaster, it's just it's kind of vacuuming itself on there. So if you've got a, a flexible a flexible bowl, you wiggle it, it kind of breaks the seal and it pops out really easily. So what you do is you just pop the bowl like that, pop it. There, you see I just wiggle the sides and it's just come away. It's going to come away really easily now. Turn it over and then it just comes straight out like that and that looks pretty perfect so I'll just pop that on there for now got to be really careful with it when it's in this really fresh state because it is like I say still very soft and you could easily scratch it I'm going to put a link in this video to using it um, using it as a, as a hump mold so check that video out where I'm actually making um, a bowl with it. I would recommend leaving it for a week before you actually use it because there's so much water in there. If you start building clay around, if you drape clay over that, it's going to take a very, very long time for the clay to um, become leather hard because there's so much water in the plaster. It's just going to keep the clay wet. So leave it for a week before you use it, but um, then you're good to go. So I really hope you found that helpful and if you do please give it a thumbs up, give the video a thumbs up, we like the thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel and um, you'll get a notification whenever I update, uh, whenever I upload 
another video. So thanks so much for watching. I hope that's helpful. Bye for now.